Colas, East Africa Limited. We are the leaders in manufacturing and supplying of bituminous products, both for roads and industrial use. Step one, you need to prepare the surface by brushing it of all the loose dirt and loose materials. And also you are supposed to make sure the surface is not damp and also it's supposed to be rough to allow penetration of the primer. The next step is priming the surface. You prime the surface using Colasco Type 3 diluted with water at a ratio of 1 to 1. Then you use a brush or a roller to apply this primer at a rate of 0.15 liters per square meter. Allow the primer to dry for six hours. The next step is waterproofing and reinforcement. You do this using Colasco Type 3 without dilution at a rate of 0.75 liters per square meter. While this coat of Type 3 is still wet, you embed in it a layer of fiberglass mesh. Allow this to dry for six hours. The next step is waterproofing using either Colasco Type 5 or Colasco Type 7, depending on whether you want heavy duty waterproofing or light duty. If it's light duty, you'll apply two heavy coats of Type 5 at a rate of 0.75 liters per square meter, allowing six hours drain time in between the coats. If it's heavy duty, you will use Colasco Type 7 and the application rate is three liters per square meter. The next step is allowing curing time. If it is a water tank, you can fill in the water after 48 hours curing time. If it is a flat roof, you will do finishing. Finishing can be done either using alubit or decosil. If you're using alubit, after the last coat of bitumen, you are supposed to allow 14 days drying time. And alubit should be applied at a rate of 0.2 liters per square meter. If you're using decosil, you allow seven days drying time after the last coat of bitumen, and you also apply at a rate of 0.2 liters per square meter. For more information on our product, subscribe to this channel. For further inquiries, you can also reach us through the numbers on the screen.